Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to- wait! I never put the light on! That's better, okay. Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the entire set of Trios of Horror Funko Pops. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so before we get into the figures here, I decided to go all out this year for Halloween, so... Here we are right here. <laughs> That's all I have. Um, this is all we had at the house that my mom would let me take, so... Yeah, this is pretty much it, this. Okay, so let's get into them here. So, I actually have a background here. We, we organized all of our figures now. My dad and I stayed around. It took a long time. I said it was going to take about two hours in the video that I filmed, but it took about... Mm, I want to say five or six, maybe seven hours. To, I don't know, because my dad stayed while we went pop hunting one day, and he worked on that. So I'm not exactly sure how long it took, but it did take a long, long time. So anyways, guys, here they are right here. So we have the Simpsons ones all here. We also have the Haunted Mansion ones, all of my horror ones here. Also the Nightmare Before Christmas, and we even have some Lilo and Stitch ones. We even have the Halloween Lilo and Stitch down there. But let's get into this here. So I'm going to grab all the Trios of Horror ones. I didn't have anything to fill this with, so I thought I would just take them off as we're doing the video. That way you guys know what was here instead of just having an open spot. So sorry about that being there, but uh, yeah, it was this set here. All right, guys, so here's the entire common set right here. So we have Maggie. Let me see here. So we've got Alien Maggie. We've got Demon Lisa. This is Panther Marge. We've got King Homer and then Flyboy Bart. Now out of this entire set, I think Flyboy Bart is my favorite. And for some reason, the King Homer was really hard to find. And I don't know why. It took me the longest to get this one, but it is one of the coolest figures. I like how they did the black and white to go with older King Kong uh, movies, and I think it looks really, really great. So, anyways, guys, here's King Homer. What's really cool about it is he's holding a, you know, like usually King Kong holds a girl in his hand. Well, Homer actually has a tiny Marge in his hand, and you can tell by the long hair and everything like that. So, this character is really cool. It still also has this comb over, um, which is pretty cool as well. And uh, yeah, this is one of my favorites from the set. It's one, it's for sure a top one, and I can see why it is harder to get because of how detailed it is. Um, he also has like chains around his arms and uh, huge monkey feet. And uh, yeah, the black and white really is a nice touch that they added to this. I think it's one of my favorite parts um, because if it didn't have that, like what colors would it be? It'd be like a light brown and kind of like a whitish color. So I think it's cool that they did the black and white. Now we don't want to kill him. Shoot him around the groin and belly. Cut it out. Um, after that, guys, this one has to be the number one in the set. We've got Flyboy Bart. He's eating sugar, and uh, one of the coolest thing things is is that it's actually Bart's body holding the bag of sugar, and then this huge fly head. Now, the fly head, I mean, I haven't seen a fly close up before because of how small they are, but I don't know if they have those little snouts, but I think that's what they add in the cartoon. Um, so that's pretty cool, but it also does have like a little bit of like snot drooping out of its nose So that's a little added addition and the eyes look really cool as well If I'm not mistaken from this trios of horror episode the Bart you he shows it from his perspective And it's got like a thousand different like things going on at the same time because that's how people that's how flies I see I think they do like where they've got like a bunch of squares all over it I don't know if that's actually how they see or if that's kind of how people like do it in television shows and movies um, But that is a cool thing that they did um, in the show for sure. Yeah, but it's got kind of like hairy, kind of bumpy. They all are very creepy because this is Trios of Horror, of course. Um, but yeah, there's Flyboy Bart, one of my favorites out of the set. Listen, buddy, this is all a mistake. If you'll just go through the transporter with me again, we'll have you back eating garbage in no time. Get him, boy! Smash that fly! Now, after that one, we actually have Panther Marge. Now, this one right here is pretty different again. What the heck? Did the power go out? Hold on. I don't know what, well at least we have that light there. Wait, Dad! Alright. Alright guys, so here we have Panther Marge. Now, this one is, again, like I said, very different. It's blue, and it still has her hair, which I think is really funny. So it's all kind of just like one color, and there's, and the, uh, the panther hair kind of goes up into it, into Marge's type of hair. So it goes from like fur to like a really tall perm. Anyways, that's really cool. Um, she has like a necklace on, so it's still got her Marge necklace. Um, she's got her whiskers and everything. So this one's just kind of like a cat with like Marge features, um, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, I do like this a lot. Also, I just noticed with the box art, you can see on there, it's got a bunch of different Simpsons characters um, that you guys might not have seen before. So it's not just like a black pattern, it's a bunch of different Simpsons characters. And I think that's really cool as well. Um, I also love the Trios of Horror logo on the side there. So how do you 
like being a walrus, Dad. It's great. I haven't been this skinny since high school. Homie, someone owes me a back scratch. And then, on to the next one here, guys, we have Demon Lisa. Now, this is pretty much Lisa, but she has the horns, and then she has the wings, and then the devil tail. Other than that, oh, I also noticed that she has hooves also as well. So kind of like, I don't know what you call that, like goat legs almost in a way, or like minotaur legs, I guess, um, but still really cool. So this Lisa looks very similar to the original Lisa, except that one she has um, a saxophone in her hand, but the head is pretty much exactly the same. Um, except for the the demon horns there. Um, so that is a little bit different, but uh, they are still very similar. But yeah, I like this one. Um, not my favorite one out of the set, but if you want to complete the set, you're going to want to get Demon Lisa because it is cool. Um, and it is Lisa, of course. So the Trios of Horror ones are probably... I would say they're better than these ones. I don't know why. I just like the Trios of Horror because they've got more detail to them. They're kind of cool. I mean, there are really great ones in this set as well. Um, but for some reason, these ones just really take the cake. And all the girls are mean girls. Red dress, how original. Making fun of someone's clothes, how original. Now, last out of the common set here, we have Alien Maggie. Now, this one pretty much has the most going on here. Um, so she's got like the teddy bear in her hand. So she's got like a normal body where it's kind of just like her dress covering it. But then she's got all these tentacles coming out holding different things. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, this is exactly the same as from the television show. So if you were to see a, like a clip from the television show, the tentacles that are holding things are in the exact spots as the pop, which I think is really great attention to detail. Um, so you can see there she's got the teddy bear, she's got her bottle, a block, and then like a rattle as well. And I don't think the back leg, back two don't have anything. Um, but I don't think they did in the uh, show as well. So anyways, Maggie head is pretty much exactly the same. I think it's very similar anyways, um, but that body does add a lot to it, and I think it looks really great. Come on, Maggie. Let's go home. Very well. I'll drive. <laughs> now that is the common wave here, guys. So let's move on to the exclusives here. All right, guys. So first up here, we've got Vampire Mr. Burns. Now this one was from FYE. If you went to the convention, um, you could get it at New York Comic Con. Or FYE actually has their booth right next to um, the Funko booth. So you could go over there and pick it up with the shared sticker. Um, and that's what I did. So while we were there, I picked up a Vampire Mr. Burns. I was really excited about getting this one because it is it is a very odd character. They kind of make him like a lighter kind of color. So if you can see here with this Mr. Burns, I mean, it's still yellow. His skin's still yellow, um, but it is like a bit of a lighter kind of yellow color. So you can see there he's not so, you know, it's not so, he's got more pale tones to him anyways. It kind of makes him look sickly in a way. Um, but that's cool for the Trios of Horror because it is supposed to be spookier. So sickly, I guess, is spookier in a way. Um, but yeah, he's supposed to look like a vampire. So he's got fangs. He's got that kind of puffy hair and kind of a dress going here and these awkward little like demonic hands in a way. I don't know. I think this one looks really great. <laughs> If it isn't little boy. Now there is another exclusive, which is Groundskeeper Willie. And hmm, I don't have that one. That one I will show on the screen, guys, so you can check that one out there if you want to. But we never did get that one. The Groundskeeper Willie was a tough one because we couldn't get it at the convention, and then when we went to Hot Topic, they had sold out. They got a restock and then they sold out again. We went that day, but they sold out earlier in the day. So I'm still looking and getting Groundskeeper Willie, and I really want to pick that one up for my set because there is no Willie Funko Pop. So that's the only way to get a Groundskeeper Willie. So that be that will be one that I'm on the hunt for. So if you guys want to subscribe, we will be still looking for that one. So you guys want to subscribe so you get the hunt notifications because we will be looking for them still. That one will be coming into the collection. I guarantee it. I'm going to put the foot down. That one will be in the collection eventually. But as of right now, for the review, I don't have it. But we do have one more really cool figure that I'm excited about. We're gonna actually have to move these guys out of the way so I can show this off because it is a really big pop. Or set of pops. Now guys, last but not least, we have, you guys ready for this? Drum roll, please. Kang and Kodos. Now, this was a set that I did not expect Funko to make at all. This is another part of part of the Trios of Horror line, and they look great. This was exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con. Um, this was a two-pack shared with GameStop, so that's where I got this one. But then we were also at, where was it? It was Fan Expo Canada, or Fan Expo in Toronto. And while we were there, EB Games also got this in Canada. So GameStop and EB Games share their exclusives. So while we were there, we happened to get a set of these 
at the booth. They were just like literally walking around like, does anybody want a Kang and Kodos? And I think they were still normal price. I wonder if they say on it. I think it was like $30 maybe, which is a really great price for a convention exclusive and considering how heavy these are. Um, these are some of the tallest three inch figures ever. Um, so I think this one's really cool. I don't know why the pumpkin turned out. Huh. Anyways, guys. Oh. Wait. Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, guys, here's Kang and Kodos. Really cool set. Kang's on the left, Kodos is on the right. I like how they're different as well. They both look really great. Um, but anyways, guys, there's that. Silence! We are travelers from a certain nearby ringed planet whose name we'd prefer not to mention. My name is Kang, and this is my sister, Kodos. Hello. Now, before we get out of here, guys, I want to announce one thing. Because it is Halloween and we're looking at all the trios of horror figures, we are going to be giving away a set of the Kang and Kodos Pops. So, guys, all you have to do is comment down below which trios of horror character you'd like to see turn into a pop next. Also, guys, don't forget to put your email so that way I can reach out to you after the giveaway is over because YouTube's gotten rid of their whole messaging system, so it's a lot harder for me to reach out. So, if you guys can put your email or your Instagram, that'd be greatly appreciated. All you guys have to do after that is be subscribed and like this video. Share it if you want to. Um, but that's about it guys. So that is all of the treehouse of horror figures minus Willie, but we do have most of them So I hope you guys enjoyed. I really do love this set This is one of my favorite sets that Funko's done in a long time and I'm glad that they did um, More Simpsons characters and got the license to it. I remember they did some a long time ago just, I believe it was who was it? It was Homer Marge Bart and then the last one was Krusty the Clown. I never did get any of those because they are super expensive, but I, I was so glad that I could get these guys and the original set. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops, Popsters. Thanks for watching.